Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, I just wanted to share this with you. There's a lot of talk about a earthquake coming in the next two weeks. And uh, I've seen a lot of comments re referencing that the last couple days. And so I just wanted to bring to your attention some of the stuff I've researched and my probable conclusions here. And I'll let you guys make up your own conclusions. So this is the article that everybody is talking about, and it, it says Putin scientists predict mega U.S. earthquake in two weeks, and it's published March 5th, 2019, written by Amber William. And uh, when we go through this, it says a new report prepared for Prime Minister Putin by the Institute of Physics of Earth warned that America in the next two weeks is in danger of catastrophic proportions earthquake. Focusing on the U.S., Mexico, Central and South America, and the region along the west coast of the New Madrid Zone Fault. Scientists have urged government officials to prepare for a terrifying and unprecedented magnitude 9 mega earthquake that would unleash a deadly tsunami with 30 meter high waves. And it gets into Cascadia and the really big one. The Cascadian subduction zone is a region where two tectonic plates are colliding. The Juan de Fuca, which is a small oceanic plate being driven under the North American plate atop which the continental U.S. sits. Subduction systems, where one tectonic plate slide over another, are capable of producing the world's largest known earthquakes. And a prime example is the 2011 Tohoku earthquake that rocked Japan. And so when I saw this, you know, and I researched everything I could find on, uh, you know, this. I found this, and so this is out of newspunch.com. Russia warns huge megaquake about to rip through America. Um, yes, it's the same photo, April 18th, 2016, so this is three years ago. And uh, it, the lingo is a little bit different, but it says President Putin's deployed Russian troops to the Eastern Military District to prepare for what could be a series of devastating earthquakes and tsunamis to hit the Kamchatka Peninsula. Over the next two weeks, he has also issued a warning that a much bigger megaquake could strike the United States' northwest Pacific Ocean region in the coming weeks, too. And so this is um, getting into, again, Cascadia and everything. And so, you know, probing a little bit deeper, uh, we see this. Earthquake warning from Russian Institute of Physics of the Earth. And this is March 13th, 2011. And so it says, released today in the Kremlin, prepare for Prime Minister Putin by the Institute of Physics of the Earth in Moscow, is warning that Americas are in danger of suffering megaquake of ca catastrophic proportions during the next fortnight, 14 days, with a specific emphasis being placed on the United States, Mexico, Central America, and South American West Coast, along with the New Madrid fault zone region. So does that sound a little bit familiar? So it, it gets into the same stuff again, pretty much. And, uh, you know, again, we're talking about the Cascadian and then uh, also the San Andreas and then, of course, the New Madrid. Because probably when it does happen, and it's going to happen at some point, you're going to have Cascadia go. It should trigger uh, San Andreas really quickly. And then we have run into increased probability of Yellowstone because the way the energy flows and then heading over into the New Madrid. Uh, and then you might end up with another big one down in the Charleston area as well. So it, it tends to flow that way. Another source that was quoted um, was, you know, Sorcha Fowl, which, as I've told you guys, you know, I, I don't really put a lot of stock in anything that comes out of Sorcha Fowl. So this is the actual Institute of Physics of Earth's website. And, um, you know, there's stuff out here that they've put out but I don't see anything that's talking about an imminent earthquake in 14 days. So you could go ahead and look through some of the articles here, uh, and it's all translated from Russian. And so, you know, there's definitely a buzz going on out there, and there's other channels that have talked about this and, and run with it. Um, but in this particular case, uh, I, I don't think... You know, I would trust it so much or put so much stock in it because it looks like this exact article is run before pretty much and at different times, the same sort of wording. So that makes me a little bit suspicious. Now, 
the bigger picture you know when we start looking at our things and this is what does it mean so this is that website again uh, search a file and this is April 17th 2016 uh, you know talking about that same thing again same same wording too uh, the bigger picture is the scenario of the Cascadian quake and then when we hear things like this that you could read right here um, these weapons that could create tsunamis 500 meters high and this is real and this has been a buzz um, for uh, several months now there's been so many articles being written about these you know nuclear tsunami bombs and uh, so that is something uh, that I would be very uh, aware of and when we have talked in the past about how you know Hollywood the movies they, they use the movies to tell us you know uh, what's coming ahead of time as we talked about Neo and the Matrix and his passport September 11th 2001 it expires you know and so we had the movie How It Ends, and, you know, they only rate it 5 out of 10 stars. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it, you know, anyway. But then I like that type of movie. And the scenario there is basically what appears to be the Cascadian quake happens, but they don't know if it was natural or not. And, you know, there's a couple scenes there with military planes going flying around, and interestingly enough, there's a lot of scenes when there's planes just on the ground, uh, planes dropping from the sky, which we were talking about earlier today and, and yesterday as well. So it's really interesting because that whole Cascadian, you know, mega quake, you know, could it be triggered by something like what we're looking at in this article? Could this be done to actually trigger the mega quake or to reproduce it and make it so that you don't know? that it's not just a natural event so that's the big question too and so even if these articles are kind of BS is it is it chicken little you know the sky is falling the sky is falling the sky is falling you know one two three times but in reality maybe this time it is you know, so I just wanted to bring this up for you guys uh, so you have a little bit more, you know, a little bit more clearer picture, perhaps, or maybe this even muddies it even more. Uh, so let me know what you guys are thinking, and I got, I'll have all the links for you. Definitely share your comments. Uh, as always, my friends, God bless, and namaste.